Hello everyone, welcome back to Brain Equation. Today we are going to solve the question. The question is given x to the power 2 minus x cube is equal to 36. So we need to calculate x here. So first of all, I will write the question. Uh, that is x square minus uh, x cube is equal to 36. x square minus x cube is equal to 36. So in the next step, in the next step, uh, I will bring 36 to the left hand side. So I will write x square minus x cube minus 36 is equal to is equal to 0. So it is equal to 0. So in the next step, we will write we will write 36 in the form of 27 plus 9 x square minus x cube. 36 27 plus 9 we can write 36 as 27 plus 9 in the bracket so is equal to 0 so in the next step x square minus x cube we will open the parentheses we will write 27 minus will plus will give minus 9 is equal to 0 so in the next step we will write x square x square minus x cube minus 27 can be written as 3 to the power 3 and similarly my 9 can be written as 3 to the power 2 is equal to 0 so in the next step we will write uh, same powers together we will write them together so x square minus 3 square we will write them together and similarly we will write x cube minus 3 cube together is equal to 0 now we will write now we will write these um, expressions in the parentheses x square minus 3 square parentheses minus x cube minus and minus will give plus 3 cube parentheses is equal to 0 so in the next step we are going to use a very basic formulas that is uh, if we are given a square minus b square it can be written as a plus b parenthesis a minus b so next formula is a cube plus b cube so it can be written as a plus b parenthesis times a square minus a b plus b square so i'm going to use these two formulas in the next step so a squared minus b squared can be written as for the x square minus 3 square so we will write we will use this formula for this expression and this formula can be written as for the other expression which is x cube plus 3 cube so in the next step so in the next step when we will write these formulas our expression will become expression will be, become x plus 3 parenthesis times x minus 3 parenthesis minus this was the first formula now for the other expression we will use the other formula so minus x plus 3 parenthesis times here a square is x cube we will write x square minus a b is 3x similarly b square is 9 b square is 9 so is equal to 0 so now in this step we can see that x plus 3 is common in both expressions so we will take common x plus 3 x plus 3 parenthesis x minus 3 parenthesis minus x square minus 3 x plus 9 parenthesis is equal to 0. So in the next step we will simplify it x plus 3 x minus 3 we will open this parenthesis and we will open the other one minus x square minus plus minus will give plus 3x minus plus will give minus 9 parenthesis is equal to 0 so now we will simplify it x plus 3 parenthesis x x square it is x square minus x square 
So 3x plus x will give 4x plus 4x. Minus 3 and minus 9 will give minus 12. Minus 12. Parenthesis is equal to 0. So in the next step, from here, we have x plus 3 is equal to 0 or the other expression is equal to 0. So x plus 3 is equal to 0. x plus 3 is equal to 0 or minus x square plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. So we will multiply by minus 1 on both sides this expression x square. So it will give x square minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. So from here we will get if x plus 3 is equal to 0 we will get x is equal to minus 3 which is the one solution. It is the real solution from the other equation we will get the other two solutions. So we will use quadratic formula because it is a quadratic equation minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac over 2a. So we will use the values of a, b and c in the quadratic formula to find out the values of x. So x is equal to x is equal to here here b is minus 4 so we will write minus minus 4 plus or minus a root b is minus 4 so minus 4 whole square b square so minus 4 a is 1 and c is 12 over 2 times 1 So in the next step, x is equal to minus and minus will give plus 4 plus or minus. So minus 4 square will give 16 and 4 times 1 times 12 will give 48 over 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So x is equal to 4 plus or minus. 16 minus 48 will give minus 32 over 2. In the next step, x is equal to 4 plus or minus. We can write 32 as 16 times 2 times minus 1 over 2. So, it will be x is equal to 4 plus or minus. We can write them in separate square roots. Square root 16 times square root 2 times square root minus 1 over 2. So in the next step x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root 16 is 4 times square root 2 and square root minus 1 is i over 2. So now we will divide each term with the 2. Each term with the 2. So 4 over 2 plus or minus 4 times square root 2 times i over 2. So x is equal to, from here x is equal to 4 divided by 2 will give 2 and 4 divided by 2 give 2. 2 times square root 2 times i. So from here we will have two solutions. So we have three solutions. So first one x1 one is x1 is as we have uh, seen before x is equal to minus 3 it was the first solution it is the real solution x1 is equal to minus 3 and x2 is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2 square root 2 i and x3 is 2 minus 2 square root 2 i so we have three solutions one solution is real x1 is the real solution and the other two solutions are complex solutions because they involve i.
the complex imaginary part so it is the answer it is the solution for the given equation now we will use the given equation to check the answer to check the solution so we will take the equation equation is x square minus x cube is equal to 36 so for x is equal to minus 3 we will check this equation so we will take left hand side of the given equation which is x square minus x cube plug in the value of x which is minus 3 x square minus x uh, sorry 3 cube so it is minus 3 cube so 3 minus 3 square is 9 and minus 3 cube is minus 27 so we will write 9 minus and minus will plus will give plus 27 is equal to 30, 9 plus 27 is equal to 36 which is right hand side so left hand side is equal to right hand side so it is proved so it was a great challenge it is all about this question we have used different steps to solve this question we use the quadratic formula we use the different um, algebraic formulas to solve this question it was great challenge don't forget to subscribe my channel for more solutions and videos like this thanks for watching bye